Hey Move Bubblers, it's Kendall and welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you can legally sublet your home. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. letting out the place that they live in is not uncommon. However, if this hasn't been clarified with the landlord, you can often find yourself in some pretty sticky waters. So in this video, we're going to break down what exactly subletting is, the legality surrounding it, and what the role of the landlord has in the process. What is subletting? Subletting is when an existing renter rents out all or part of their home to someone else. By doing this, you become the subletter by taking on the role of the landlord. However, you are still the primary renter on the tenancy agreement. The new person renting the entire home or perhaps just a room on the property then becomes the sub renter after they move in. Think of the scenario as a three tier system. So you have the landlord, you have yourself and then you have the new renter. Once you sublet, you become the mean and the landlord to the sub renter. So what is a mean? Well, you are renting to a new sub renter, which essentially makes you a landlord to that person, which in essence means that you have all the same responsibilities as the landlord does to you. You also need to carry out a right to rent check on the new renter, as well as a renter reference and credit checks. Why might you sublet? Well, there are many reasons why someone decides to sublet. You could be having to move away for a while, or perhaps you're going on an extended vacation or a new job, but it's not enough time to move homes. So therefore you could decide to sublet whilst you are away. Alternatively, you might be living in a home with more than one bedroom and decide that you want to rent out the spare rooms. The new renter will then rent from you and not directly from the landlord. Can you legally sublet? Well, by now you might have realized that yes, you can legally sublet. The only thing is that you have to have your landlord's permission. If you decide to sublet without the permission of the landlord, well, then you're going to find yourself in some serious hot water and could be dealing with some legal issues. It's no good getting a verbal agreement. You will indeed need an agreement in writing with the landlord clearly stating that they are happy for you to sublet the property. The only way that you can sublet without the landlord's permission is if there is a clause in the tenancy agreement. However, most landlords don't include a clause on subletting unless it explicitly says that you cannot do it. What happens if you illegally sublet? Well, if the landlord proves that you have been subletting their property without their permission, you will then be in breach of the tenancy agreement. This means that they will be able to evict both you and the sub renter from the property. Therefore, it is always wise to get permission from the landlord before you advertise for a sub renter. In a nutshell, it shouldn't be a problem if you decide to sublet your property as long as you have the permission of a landlord in writing. If they're happy for you to do so, then all you have to do is find a subletter. And of course, remember that you will now be acting as their landlord. So treat them the way that you want your landlord to treat you. Also, if you are looking for new properties, then don't forget to head on over to the Move Bubble app where you can find plenty of brilliant property walkthroughs, as well as tons of renting information. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!